Our live team coverage continues now with preparations being made right here in Western Mass for anything that could happen locally in connection with inauguration events tomorrow in the nation's capital. And Western Mass News reporter Sarah Grinelli joins us live after checking in with Springfield City leaders. And Sarah, what are they saying? Jordan, Chris, well, the Springfield Police Commissioner and Mayor say they're ready for small demonstrations or big ones. But as of right now, there's no specific threats to the city of Springfield. The city of Springfield is bracing for any possible demonstrations when President-elect Joe Biden is sworn in on Wednesday. Police Commissioner Cheryl Clapperud tells Western Mass News the department is ready to go. But I will tell you there are plans in place from everything to, from a small protest to, to a large event. Um, I do have some partners in this if it gets larger. The commissioner was tight-lipped about exact details, but did say they are taking extra safety measures. I checked with the Fusion Center and my Crime Analysis Center before this meeting, and there's absolutely nothing indicated for Springfield or Worcester. Governor Charlie Baker has activated about 1,000 Massachusetts National Guard members, half of them deployed to Washington, D.C. The rest are on standby here in the state. Western Mass News has learned this includes three from the Springfield Police Department and others from the Fire Department. The FBI says there are no major threats to the state at this time. Boston has a few events that they are preparing for, but we are prepared for whatever should, if something should occur here. As of now, nothing. And coming up tonight at Western Mass News at 6 o'clock, how authorities in Boston are preparing for tomorrow. Live in Springfield, I'm Sarah Grunelli for Western Mass News.